Moving forward right now in Des Moines. Now, the legislature already agreed to Governor Kim Reynolds' plan to reduce the number of cabinet-level departments from 37 to 16. Now, state leaders are reviewing Iowa's more than 250 boards and commissions that oversee state operations. KCRG TV9 State Capitol reporter Connor Hendricks reports from the State House that critics say the process is moving too fast. Governor Kim Reynolds has touted her government realignment bill on the campaign trail as 2024 candidates come to town. The Boards and Commissions Review Committee is in charge of seeing it through. Right now, they're reviewing 256 of the state's boards. Many of them are facing elimination. Commercial Air Service Retention Expansion Committee uh, were eliminating because it fulfilled its purpose in 2014. State Representative Jane Bloomingdale says it's time to clean house. One thing I noticed is how many times I heard this committee hasn't met in 10 years. Why do we have that board or committee that hasn't met in 10 years? Bloomingdale says the reorganization is long overdue. There's redundancies, there are inefficiencies, and that's what we're looking for right now. So we're in the beginning. This is the beginning process, just getting it put together. So I'm actually excited. I think it's time for a review and some consolidation. So we'll see how it goes. State Senator Janice Weiner says the process is moving too fast, and many Iowans may be unaware these meetings are happening. While I am 100% okay with getting rid of boards and commissions that haven't done anything for a long time that are defunct that have already served their purpose there are a lot of there are a lot of commissions out there that affect a lot of iowa's lives weiner says these boards usually have experts on them and also better represent the population because that's another real advantage of some of these boards and commissions there's geographic distribution um, there are people from from different professions and you you get a real give and take the next meeting in this process is Wednesday, September 6th. There, Iowans can register for public comment if they wish to weigh in on any of the proposed changes. Outside the State House, I'm Connor Hendricks reporting. Now, the review committee will send a final report to the legislature and governor at the end of next month. Then it's up to lawmakers to implement those changes.